Hey, it's me, Joe Voltage. I'm in my studio right now, and I'm using this stuff called Liquitex Ink. It says professional on there, so you know it's got to be good. But uh, this is I bought from Daphne down at the art corner, and uh, this is sap green. Sap green is one of the most versatile colors in painting because it's like the perfect color and it's translucent. This is weird stuff. You know, I'm going, why do they need an ink? Turns out it's kind of runny. You can see it dripping in there. It's really runny, but it's really, the pigment is well dispersed throughout the liquid. I don't know what it is. I presume it's water, but it is very nice to work with. And it brings almost water color qualities and speed to your painting when you're working on canvas. And um, I'm starting to fall in love with this stuff. Not so much that I would ask it to marry me, but uh, I continue to use it for painting. You put a little drop, it goes a long ways. Put a little drop on your paper, on your on your ice cream lid, ice cream cover, which is my palette. Pick some up, and you swoop grass in, like so. You can just kind of swoop in the colors, and it's so easy to use. Whereas if you did this with acrylic paint, you'd have to water it down, and I've done it 250 million times. You water it down, and it gets lumpy, and you got to fight the lumps, and then they make a more fluid paint, and I'm using some of that right now. This is the other thing I'm using. This is made by Golden. This is actually a thinned-out paint. It's not an ink. Um, it, too, works well, but it's thicker, and I'm going to add some Prussian blue into my painting right now, as you can see here just to give it some shadow quality and I'm kind of working on the bottom of this painting I want to finish it up and uh, I don't know I haven't decided what all I'm going to put in there yet but the golden paint mixes well with the Liquitex but oh man this ink is really neat stuff and you can just kind of see the blades of grass that are so easy to to draw in whereas with lumpy paint and look at how, how far I've gone you normally have to reload the brush every two seconds when you work with acrylic this stuff just acts kind of like having a watercolor and you can go back and pick up some spots where you see some extra and use it and then if you cross into the blue you get that crossover quality that we're trying to get right there showing a muskeg kind of a muskeg in shadows I haven't decided exactly how I'm going to end this painting but for now this is a, a minute with Joe talking about Liquitex acrylic ink very neat stuff I don't know if that's focusing we'll see anyway I'll talk to you later. Go to Daphne and pick some up. She's got a big display of it at the art corner in Ely.